Hey guys, it's Haley's Hammies. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to clean your hamster's sand bath. So, um, hamsters, I've, I found dwarf hamsters enjoy cleaning themselves in sand more than Syrian hamsters, but you know, every hamster's different. Um, but they do enjoy cleaning themselves in sand. And as you can see, this is my hamster sand bath right here. And it's really dirty. There's tons of bedding in it. And my hamsters tend to use the bathroom in it. So, yeah, that's why you need to clean this every other day or every day. Um, not just when you're cleaning the cage, because by then it can really get gross and it's not very your hamster to, for them to have to clean themselves in dirty sand. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you what you need to clean it to and how to. Let's just get started. First, I recommend getting the sand and kind of, as you can see, this one's full of bedding. I'm going to get my sand and take all of that bedding out. So, excuse me. And some some bits you can't really get out, which is okay. Just get out as much as you can. And if you feel com if you don't feel comfortable touching this, you can wear gloves. I'm personally okay with it, but yeah. So that's all I was able to get out, which is all right. And now let me just show you what you need. So of course, you will need your hamster sand bath. You'll also need a clean bucket or bowl. I have some bath sand in here from cleaning my other hamster's dish. And you will need a sifter. Most of these things you can find in your house. This could be found in someone's kitchen most likely, but if you do not have one, you can go out and buy one. They're very cheap at most kitchen stores. So, to begin, what we're going to do is we're going to get our sifter and put it over top of the bowl. I'm using a bucket, so I'm just going to put it over top of it and then pour the sand in. And all of the poop and nasty stuff in this sand does clump, which is very helpful, but all of that stuff is going to get stuck in the sifter, so only the clean sand will go through. And what you're just going to do is shake it around. Shake it over top of the bucket though, until all the clean sand goes through, and as you can see, this nasty stuff is left behind. So now with this, you just need to discard it into the garbage, because you do not need to save this at all. Okay, so now that you have your clean sand inside, it's all of that and your dirty con uh, dish or container. You want to clean this out with a hot water or mild soap or just hot water and a rag. So I'm gonna go clean this out and I'll be right back. So now I'm left with a clean dish and some clean sand. And now all you're going to need is the sand in the bucket, your dish, and some, your, and some of the hamster's bath sand. I am using KT chinchilla bath sand for this, but you do not want to use hamster dust. That's not good at all. So what you're going to need to do is just get the dish and the sand and pour the sand in the dish. It's pretty self-explanatory. And as you can see, it's all clean. There's nothing nasty in it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one of my sand packets and just pour some on top because I like my hamsters to have a deep amount of sand so they can really enjoy themselves. I don't know, but yes, yeah, so I feel like that's plenty of sand for them, and as you can see, it's all clean. So now all you need to do from here is place the sand back inside of the hamster's cage, and you're done. So I really hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please tell me in the comments and leave a like. And if you have any questions on anything with this or any questions in general, I would really appreciate it if you leave them in the comments. And yeah, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching.